Good match! We won! Siren High won, well not me, but Siren High won this match. Finally, this was a great episode. We got to see moves that we've never seen before. Kagame, Kagame had a new move. Murasaki Bura, psh, wow. So Himuru, he's just sad. He even admitted to Kagame that he's bet that you know Kagame is much better than him when he tried to do the Mirage shot and Kagame was about to stop it, but it didn't work. Himuru and the rest of Yosin Hai was working as a team with Murasaki Bura, a state in where Almany, Case, no one in the Generation Miracles have never seen before. Murasaki Bura working as a team with others and basically he doesn't want to lose and he just switched basically he was playing much better than normal even the coach was amazed but Kagame he was still in the zone and just laying it on this team just madness and I could not believe it that his zone could last that long the entire Syrian team they were more relying on Kagame's zone to make um to make points than they were on the defense. Both teams were relying on their mayor play, main players. Yosin High was relying on Mirasaki Bora, and of course Seren High on Kagame. They were relying on Yosin High was relying on Mirasaki Bora and Himuro because they were the ones working much closer together to win. After Himuro punched Mirasaki Bora in the face in the last episode, I think they both came much closer together to play. As one, but in all, it still didn't work. Kagami's zone was literally blocking them at each and every corner. Even though they did make some shots, Kagami's zone was perfect. His zone is on another level. From it surpasses Almany's. Even Hugo um, saw that he was reaching his limit and he was tiring out. But at that point, Kiyoshi finally came back. To the to the court, as you as you know in the last episode, he said he only needed one minute to change the score, and that is exactly what he did in this episode. He put all of his strength into making Siren High win. When Himuru got the ball and went up against Kiyoshi, it did not work at all. Kiyoshi knew that he would not be able to trick his Mirage shot, but so he. So he actually did a mirage himself. He tricked Himuro that he was going to jump for the ball. But instead, he didn't. And Hyuga came in from the back and stopped Himuro's shot. Which I thought was perfect teamwork. Kagami was on point guard. And that was actually the funniest thing. Because the expression on Yosin Hai's... Um, their face to expression was like, what is this guy doing? And we know he's in the zone, but what the hell? And it worked perfectly. When he was on point guard and he was going through, he passed to Kuriko. Kuriko did the um, infinite pass and he just slam dunked it into the basket. And the, the gap was closing extremely fast. This was an amazing episode. And when that gap, when that gap closed, sorry, when that gap closed, that is when we got to see something that no Generation Miracle has seen in Murasaki Bura before. This guy finally did it. His hatred of losing made him go into the zone. And I was just amazed at this guy's power. It was so amazing to see this guy finally push himself to a limit and where he can enter a place where everyone was saying that he cannot enter. Himuro, of course, he didn't enter the zone. But for Mirasaki Bora, wow. And his was actually on a level of Kagame's. It was surpassing Kagame at a stage where he could not block a shot. His, his force was just so amazing that Kagame could not stop Thor's hammer. And I was just, wow. The, the score was just going up and up and up. You know, it was just life changing for Siren High. But of course, of you know, they still won. And that is because Kagame's, Kagame's zone, he pushed himself past his actual limit. And that was amazing. That is why Kagame could be a much better player than everyone else. And I was just clapping my hands when he did a shot in where this, this was an on-form shot that Almany would do this is what he would do and this is called the meteor jam this is where he combined 
um, basically air walking and just he wasn't in a form to get the slam dunk he just threw the ball into the basket not even Murasaki Bura could block it and I was just amazed but when Murasaki got the ball Murasaki Bura got the ball I thought he was gonna do another slam dunk to even the score but of course he couldn't his zone snapped out much quicker than anyone else's his zone did not last that long his spirit was crushed when he could not jump anymore his legs just gave in and before he was able to make a shot to even the score Kuriko was able to block it and they won it was so amazing I just loved it I was happy for them it wasn't really that much um, cheering as they did when they beat Almany because of course Almany was a much harder player than Murasaki Bora and basically yeah the episode ended of course it ended with the credits rolling and we're still getting to see the episode and yeah, Midorama was there watching the match. And it's a, it's a quite of a shame because throughout the episodes of Yosenhai versus Serenhai, Midorama, Midor Midorima, you know, he wasn't shown once in any of the episodes. And to see him at the end, his expression when he got up, no cheering and nothing, he just got up and walked away. I think that he knows that he's going to have to fix his game up if he wants to go against Kagame and the rest of Siren High. This could be exciting throughout the Winter Cup. Could we see Midorama going to the zone? Could we see Kais going to the zone to the zone as well, copying other people's shots and movements? But yeah, anyways guys, thank you for watching this review. I know it wasn't that great, but like, subscribe, it's all up to you. And thumbs up for Siren High winning this match against Yosin High. And I hope Mirosaki Bureau is okay. See you later.